Hello, thanks for coming back. Let's go straight to the glitch stories. First glitch. I lived alone in a small town for a couple years, working remotely for a software company. One day, I closed my work computer, turned off the lights, and went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, I was puzzled. On the kitchen table, nestled neatly beside my laptop, was a steaming cup of coffee and a toasted sandwich. My first thought was that I must have prepared them the night before and forgotten, but that was impossible. The coffee was steaming hot like it was freshly made and the sandwich was warm. I had no roommates or visitors and my doors were locked from inside, no sign of forced entry. I checked the security camera footage and all it showed was me going to bed and no activity until I woke up. To this day, I cannot explain how a piping hot meal mysteriously appeared on my kitchen table overnight. Next glitch. As a child, I used to visit my grandparents' house, which had a huge garden. For fun, I used to kick a soccer ball against the garden wall. There was nothing in the direction of the wall but a large field. One day, I kicked the ball, but it never came back. I checked the field thoroughly. No ball. Many years later, I revisited the house for a family reunion and just for old time's sake went out to the garden wall. As soon as I approached, a soccer ball, weather-worn but recognizably the same one, rolled back to me from the direction of the wall. Next glitch. My morning walk takes me through a patch of woods near my house. There's a circular dirt path I always follow. One time, I noticed something different about the area. I could suddenly hear the distinct sound of a bubbling brook, something that was never there before. I searched for the sound source and it led me off the trail to a sunlit clearing with a tiny creek cutting neatly through the grass. Weirdly, the discovery filled me with an odd sense of unease. I decided to cut my walk short and hurried home. The next day, curiosity overcame my fear, and I went back to find the creek. Despite retracing my steps, the sunlit clearing and the brook were gone. It was just the same old patch of woods like it always had been before that day. Next glitch. I had a classic analog wristwatch with a black dial that had been passed down to me by my grandfather. It was a treasured heirloom since my grandfather had no time for digital watches. He said they were unsophisticated gadgets. One morning I glanced at the watch and stopped. The dial was now white, not black. I was utterly flabbergasted. It was unmistakably my grandfather's watch, but the dial was completely different. I thought it was a trick of the light and rubbed my eyes, but no, it stayed white. I checked an old family album with a photograph of my grandfather wearing the watch. The photo is black and white, but you can clearly tell the dial of the watch is darker than the band. I examined my watch again under different lights, even asked someone else what color they see. Everyone confirmed it was a white dial watch. To this day, I haven't been able to explain the phantom change of dial color. Next glitch. My sister moved away for college when I was teenage. She left behind a small pink shag rug decorated with sunflowers and butterflies. As soon as she left, I moved it into the corner of the garage along with some of her other stuff she didn't take. For years, that was the rug's place, gathering dust. Then I decided to clean out the garage one day, getting rid of old stuff. I came across the rug and decided that it's been over 10 years and there was no reason to hold on to it. I threw it away. The very next day, I opened the garage to leave for work and there it was, the rug in its normal dusty spot. I was baffled and scared. I threw the rug away again this time in a dumpster down the street. The next day it was back again. I got so freaked out that I left it where it was. It's still there, in that little corner and I don't dare touch it again. Next glitch. So, I work as a delivery driver and there's one house I frequently make deliveries to. It's pretty standard, 
old two-story home, red brick with white painted woodwork. I always interact with the same woman, curly graying hair, and really striking blue eyes. She's nice, always tips well. Well, about three weeks ago, I happened to mention her home to a co-worker saying he must know it considering it's one of our regular stops. He looks at me blankly and ensures me he's never once delivered there. Confused, the next time I get a delivery request from that address, I decide to drag him along. As we pull up, he gets a seriously weird look on his face. Not only has he never seen the house before, but he swears there used to be an empty lot where the house stands. Next glitch. Back in college, I used to work graveyard shifts at a convenience store. I remember this one time, around 2.30 a.m., a man walked in, bought a soda, and left. Just a regular guy, balding, five o'clock shadow, freckles covering his fair complexion. His notable feature was a gaudy neon pink tie against a charcoal black suit. Five minutes later, same guy walks in, same suit, same tie, buys the same soda and leaves without any indications he'd been in just a few minutes ago. Weird, huh? I thought I was stuck in some weird time loop. Well, this went on a total of four times before I could muster the courage to ask him about it when he came in for the fifth time. Only he never came back, and since that day, I never saw him again. Next glitch. I was traveling by train and enjoying the passing scenery. On the other side of the aisle sat a middle-aged woman in what can only be described as a severely outdated fashion with an old battered leather case. There was something oddly calming about her presence. The moment that stayed with me occurred as I watched her disappear. Not in the blink and you miss way, but fade away slowly like burnout lights. One moment she was there, the next she was hazily translucent and then just gone. I let out a startled gasp, which caused a few heads to turn. But when I tried to explain, no one else claimed to have seen her. Next glitch. Every Tuesday, I got the same thing for lunch from the same place. A cheese and ham toasty and a cup of black coffee from the small cafe around the corner. The lady who owned it was lovely. We'd often chat as she prepared my lunch. This particular Tuesday, I did the same. When I got back to the office, though, lunch was a tuna sandwich. I figured I'd been given someone else's meal by accident. The next week, the same thing happened. Despite watching her prepare my cheese and ham toasty, I reached the office with a tuna sandwich. This happened for a month before I finally started eating in just to figure out what was going on. Never happened again, but it baffled me to no end at that time. Next glitch. Every day, I would walk my dog around the local park. We always followed the same route, past the old monument around the duck pond, along the tree line, and back across the football field. One day as we were walking, I held a stick up for her to jump and catch. She loved doing that. But this time, she jumped far higher than the stick, at least six feet into the air. When she reached the peak of her jump, she just kind of froze in place. I watched in shock for a good couple of seconds before she fell, losing all the joy she had before the jump. She's been apprehensive of sticks ever since. Can't say I blame her. Wow, had a few weird ones today. If you're still there, thank you and consider subscribing. Thanks.